Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Mr. Campbell from mrcampbellrocks.com. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to run parent-teacher conferences with a waiting room using Zoom. This is specifically for teachers in my district, but this will probably help everybody. So let's jump in and let's get started. So first thing that you're going to want to do is to download the Zoom application for your Mac or your PC. You can do that by going to zoom.us. You'll see that right here, and it'll ask to download the client. You can also go to a web browser and type that in here. Um, so if we go to zoom.us, or UW, excuse me, you can download that here. I already have it downloaded. So, when we come to our app, right, or the Zoom app, what we are going to want to do is we want to schedule a meeting. We have specific times that our parent-teacher conferences are going to be held, and each school will have different times or different days between our middle, high school, and elementary schools. When we click on schedule, we have a lot of options, right? So obviously, as a teacher, I want to add the information here, Mr. Campbell's right um, meeting room I'm going to have to set up two separate links if I have it on two separate nights so today it's obviously starting right now at 5 p.m. and 5:30. our actual nights are going to be later this month so the 23rd and I can set those times for however I want we want to make sure that we have the right time zone. That should automatically be grabbed by the Zoom app from your computer settings. We want to create, um, generate automatically. This basically creates a password for people to jump in. The host video we want on, participants we want off. So when a participant joins the video, or the Zoom meeting, and this is a parent, right, for parent-teacher conferences, we want their camera to be off because maybe they're in the waiting room and they went to the bathroom or they're in the kitchen or there's something's going on at their house. We want that to be off when they join that meeting. We can click on other calendars if we need to. Then what we want to do is we want to go down to our advanced options. So you'll see right here that we want to enable waiting room we want to unclick enable join before host. Well, if I'm the host of my parent-teacher conference, I don't want parents coming in before I get there. So we wanna have that unclicked. We also want to mute participants upon entry. This is very similar to having their uh, video off. We don't wanna hear what they're saying or what's going on there when they join the meeting. We obviously don't wanna record the meetings as well. We don't have that information. So we can click on schedule now it will give us this information. And this is the important information. We want to either copy this invitation or copy this link because we're going to share that with our vice principal or our principal and put those together on a list. So when parents go to our school website or your school website, all of the teachers, the grades they teach, the subjects they teach, and a link to their Zoom for that night. So we have a link for Wednesday night and a link for Thursday night. The parents can then click on that link, okay? And um, go into that Zoom. When the parents go into the Zoom meeting, they're gonna be placed in a waiting area for you. And it looks something like, it says, please wait, the meeting host will let you in soon. As a host, what you see is you see a list of parents' names or email addresses that are waiting to come into your room. So as a school or as a district or as a teacher, you're going to have to limit yourself to a certain amount of time per parent meeting because you have parents waiting on the back end. Here is one of the things that you need to understand is that parents can only be in one Zoom meeting at a time unless they have different accounts. So you have you may have parents that jump in to your Zoom meeting and they see that there's six or seven people in line they don't necessarily want to wait, so they're going to jump out and go to another teacher's Zoom that they 
can be the first in line so they can jump in and talk with that teacher. So you will probably have parents moving in and out of your waiting room. Okay, so you're at parent teacher conferences, you're in your room and you've got everything ready to go and it's about ready to start and you'll have parents start to join the meeting, right? So you can see right up here on the right, I have two versions of myself, essentially parents, right, that have joined the meeting. So the first one, I'm on my phone. So parents may be driving in the car, they're on the way to football practice, whatever, it doesn't matter, right? So they're on the Zoom and they're just waiting there. This is what you see. And you can start to see the first person that joins is at the top and then number two and then number three and number four. You can be having somebody in this meeting and still message other people and just say, hey, you know what, I'm almost done for the next, or I'm almost ready for the next person. However, however you wanna handle that. The second one is another email address that I have, and this is what the parents see, right? So the parents are on an iPad at home or a computer, and they're just waiting in this kind of blank screen for the meeting to start. So once you are ready for the parent, and this is gonna be really weird because you're gonna basically now see me on my phone pointed the side of my head just for the recording so you know. But I want to admit this person into the room and we might get a little bit of feedback on the, the audio. So once I click admit, they're going to get basically a message that opens up Zoom and you can see here I'm going to start my audio and now we're having this zoom together. So again, my hand over here is what the parent, right, is going to see. Then as the teacher, I can still be running the zoom meeting here with one parent. And I can message everyone in the waiting room or a specific person. So maybe a parent says, hey, um, I'm in the waiting room. I've got to go get something out of the oven, I'll be back in two minutes, whatever, I don't know, but I'm just thinking out loud. And then you could wait for them or take somebody after them, however you wanna have it scheduled. If I click admit on another person, I'm then going to have two parents in the meet and you do not want that, you, do, <laughs> you don't want that. Um, so I'm not even gonna show you what that looks like because we don't want that. Once that, portion right is is done you can ask the parent to leave to say hey thank you so much for your time tonight i have some other parents waiting if you could just leave the meet uh or the zoom sorry i've been using google meet for the past six months so if you could just leave and this is what it looks like right so the parent leaves the meet or leaves the zoom i'm still here alone it doesn't automatically push the next parent into the Zoom. If I want to admit the next person, I click on, let's get the iPad set up over here. Um, so you'll see the other side of this ugly face. And there you can see is the microphone I'm using, super close up, right? Um, that parent has now been admitted to this Zoom meet. Again, when we're done with the zoom meeting or the conference call hey you know so thank you so much for your time it's been a great pleasure to have your student in class so far this year i'm excited to work with them for the rest of the year whatever whatever your statement is your can't statement you ask the parent hey will you please just when you're done with this can we just leave um, or will you just leave that sounds so mean and horrible but that's what we're going to do um if you want to kick them out um, or if they are having struggles trying to figure it all out, you can say, you know what, this is what I'm gonna do. I appreciate you coming tonight. I'm actually just gonna remove you from the Zoom and so I can have the next parent come in. When you click on remove, it's gonna double ask you, are you sure you want to remove them? Absolutely. There you go. There's no parents in your waiting list and you are good to go if there are parents to meet with your next parent. If you have individual questions, please leave a comment on this YouTube video. I check these every other day and I answer questions. If you're here, it's because you're an educator. And specifically, if you're in Jordan School District, I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here.